prior to boot camp, um, we have a, a 26 year marriage and two grown kids who are in college. And the same issues kept resurfacing every 12 months or every couple years or whatever. And these issues were um, that I would get frustrated that my husband would not um, let his wall down and really, really communicate to me and be vulnerable and be a risk taker enough to, to really share his true and honest feelings. And so I felt like I was kind of a one man band with communication and that I would pour out my heart, which is natural for me, but it's unnatural for him. And so I became more and more frustrated over the years with that aspect of it. The way I termed it was Groundhog Day. I felt like it just kept getting up and doing the same dance and it wasn't a healthy one for either of us. And so that's where we were at. It was just the same issues over and over and sadness and frustration and mood swings and just wondering if it was ever gonna be a good marriage, healthy marriage. I felt like I didn't know what the answer was and I felt like we were in a really bad place and I was frustrated that my husband didn't seem to think it was so bad. In other words, he was kind of in denial and not wanting to talk and just telling me to to um, be happy and be optimistic and why am I so concerned and why don't I, kind of like, let's not talk about it, we're, we're fine. At the boot camp, it was the first time that I saw Evan um, let the wall down fully and not so much with me, even though it was with me as well, because there, ha there have been times when I have felt have felt that he's done it with me, but I really don't see him hardly ever, ever do it with other people, ever. You know, where he would actually tell a story about his childhood or anything like that. And at the boot camp, I actually saw him bonding and opening up and being willing to let other men, you know, and people, men and women, into his story to support him. He allowed himself to be helped and supported. And that was so huge. It was bigger for him, but it was really big for me to see that he has the potential and has the ability and has the desire to, to begin to do that. It was huge. So I think boot camp is amazing for any couple. Um, you don't have to be at the very, very end of, oh, we're ready to divorce. No. It would be good for any married couple, regardless of where they're at, to just understand how to live above the red line and just understand how to honor and bless each other and just have something to fall back on when the going gets tough because it always does. And the minute we got home, we got hit with a whole bunch of hard things the business, other, other issues, and so we were right back at, we started to get into our old pattern, and then I was the one that time that said, wait a minute, time out, Tina is going to kill us, we are not living above the red line, we have to turn this around, we've, we've got, and I brought out some of the notes from the camp and everything, and my husband did not react uh, poorly at all, he was like, yeah, you're right, you're right, and then we began to talk about it, so we've actually done that several times since. And I think we're on the right track. And I, we still have these big challenges I'm referring, but we, we're, on, we're on the right track because of boot camp.